Hello, hello. I am Ryan Kim, Kim Moon, and this is Moon Ascension Tarot. We are here for a quick rant. Let me just say a rant about the autumnal equinox. Now I'm, I know of this happening on the 21st, you know, um, even uh, associating this with the earth, wind, and fire song, you know, uh, do you remember, you know? Um, you know what, that makes you want to dance, makes you want to have fun, which is what this is about. I'll get to that. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> the autumnal equinox. The word equinox come from, comes from Latin, acius, meaning equal, and nox, meaning night. Solstices and equinoxes correlate to the, the cardinal signs. What is cardinal? Or what are the cardinal signs? The cardinal signs of the astrology of astrology are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. This equinox is in the sign of Libra. You know, we began Libra season on the 23rd, I believe. And all the cardinal signs basically introduce us to a new season. Aries with spring, Cancer with summer, Libra with fall, and Capricorn with winter. So, <clears throat> I believe this is an invitation. This energy is. An energy to definitely find, um, you know, sorry, I don't like that I use definites, um, but <clears throat> this is to find balance, to be social, um, to reflect, to have fun, you know, to let go, to bring harmony, uh, to think of love and beauty, beauty of life. Um, we just came from, or we are leaving um, Virgo season, you know, and Virgo season invited us to uh, really pay attention to details, to um, to invite more structure into our lives, to to work hard, to work diligently, uh, to make to-do lists, you know, um, to be of service. And, you know, sometimes with Virgo energy, especially going into the shadow aspect of the, uh, the sign, we can become overworked, you know, we can be too concerned with our work to where we don't uh, make time to, to rest, to play, you know, to, to recognize the beauty of life, you know, 
that can be hard for you to recognize if you are just constantly working, you know? And of course, it's, it's great to work. You know, we have to put in the work, but it's also about balance, you know? Which leads me to, you know, Virgo. With, with Virgo energy, we also think about Pisces, which is its opposite. And that axis um, invites us to, with Virgo, to work hard for what we, for our goals. And for Pisces, you know, to have faith, you know, we can't just rely on hard work. We have to uh, rely on others, you know, we have to accept help. Um, we have to be able to delegate at times. Um, and so stepping away from this energy, the Virgo energy, um, and if you have found yourself in the shadow aspect of, you know, being too too focused on work to uh, to the point to where you um, you're not making time to take care of yourself to you know to really sleep excuse me um, you're not taking care of your health which is a Virgo thing um, not taking care of your mind Libra, this energy asks and invites us to find balance, to find balance with the equinox. Equinoxes in the spring and fall mark an equal amount of daylight and darkness. I think that's something to consider. Speaking of Libra and balance, light and dark, I feel like this is an invitation to not only find balance within your, your work life and home life, but, you know, aspects of uh, your light, you know, and, and your darkness, your strengths and your weaknesses. You know, um, maybe you had a goal to where you're working towards, uh, you're working to improve a weakness, you know, something that you consider to, something that you consider um, that can use improvement. And, and also a shadow side of, of Virgo is to be self-critical, you know, just to be very critical. Um, you can be critical of yourself, you know, on this process. And there will be times where we don't get to the destination in the time that we projected, that we don't uh, complete the assignment, you know, in the allotted time. It's okay. Like, we still... We have to come to a place to where we can accept our weaknesses and um, our faults um, and not allow those things to to beat us down into like depression to where we don't move, we don't make we don't take action. So, another theme with this uh, autumnal equinox is harvest. <clears throat> we just had a full moon in Pisces, and that was known as the harvest moon. And it's interesting, I, I read that the harvest moon is a moon that is not limited to a one month. You can find the harvest moon 
in the month of September and October. Which leads me to, which leads me to the relationship the relationship <laughs> with the harvest moon and the equinox. The full moon that occurs nearest the uh, autumnal equinox is always called the harvest moon. This has to do with farming. Around the fall equinox, the full moon rises around sunset for several nights in a row, which traditionally provided farmers with just enough extra light for them to finish their harvest before the killing frosts of fall set in. Which makes me think of the relationship of the last full moon, which was in Pisces, and this equinox, which is in the sign of Libra. What comes to me is that it's both signs deal with two things, <laughs> you know, with the Libra, or you know what? We can even say that these two signs are connected by the word scales because <laughs> Libra has scales <laughs> which are for balancing, balancing, wow, right, <laughs> balancing, and Pisces, which is represented by the fish, also has scales. So, um, I think it's interesting with, with the fish, you have two fish trying to go in two different directions. And with Libra, you have oppositions that you are trying to bring into balance, that are you, that you are trying to, to bring harmony. I also want to add that when we speak about one sign, we always need to think, well, for me, I like to always think about its opposition. With Pisces, we have Virgo. With Libra, we have Aries. Pisces and Virgo is about faith, you know, healing, healing of self and healing others, um, working hard and You know, like physically, action, and Pisces, you know, having faith, you know, being able to go with the flow of life, you know, um, and then with Libra and Aries, you know, Aries is, I am, you know, what do I stand for? What do I, what am I passionate about? What and I am, what am I ambitious towards? Libra being <laughs> about how you relate to others, you know. <clears throat> I would also like to add that before doing research on this, well, doing more research, let me say that, um, I was not aware that there was a difference between a solstice and an equinox. The difference being solstices mark the shortest and longest days of the year. Equinoxes and the spring and fall mark an equal amount of daylight and darkness. Speaking of fall, I think there are things that 
provide symbolism. When we think of fall, you know, we think of leaves falling to the ground, you know, leaves changing colors. And I wrote down fall foliage, leaves change colors because of the amount of daylight and photosynthesis. The fact that there is less daylight than, let's say, with the summer solstice, we have this um, effect. I feel like that's symbolism for plants and trees slowing down as the sunlight decreases to get ready for the colder season ahead. That idea <laughs> led me to think of animals as well, which led me to think of the squirrel and the bear, which I will be reading from uh, this Animal Spirit Guide book. But I feel like that's something to consider as well. Slowing down, you know, again, coming from Virgo, um, Making time for, for fun, you know, making time for beauty, finding beauty, you know, within just finding beauty in life, finding beauty in your everyday, finding beauty within your relationships, despite the challenges. I feel like we can take a note from the plant, just from, from Mother Nature. Plants, trees, animals. Which leads me to Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen D. Farmer. Got the squirrel. says if squirrel shows up it means get ready for coming changes by lightening your load clearing out and giving away any goods or material possessions that no longer serve you the best way to deal with challenging situ with the challenging situation that's before you is to confront it head on and to be totally honest with your feelings and thoughts be extra vigilant and cautious right now and be and be willing to avoid or escape any threatening situations. Prepare for the future by gathering and storing extra food, water, clothing, candles, and money for possible later use. Although you're actively and aggressively pursuing your goals right now, you need to balance this pursuit with more socializing and play. And then we have the bear if the bear shows up it means set clear boundaries and don't compromise even if pressured ask for what you want whether or not you feel you'll get it get going on that creative project you have in mind take some time out from your usual routines and spend some time in solitude you may be in need of physical or emotional healing be gentle and show your love to those and show your love to those you're close to to find answers to your questions go inside rather than reading or consulting others don't forget to play balance your activities with rest with periods of rest and it's important time it's an important time for meditation and introspection
So there's something else that I want to add. As I was meditating on <clears throat> what would be beneficial for this video, I something something came to me and I'm going to share. I see a white feather. It's not collect this white feather. As you review the seeds that you've planted, how you've nurtured that, I feel as coming from Virgo, who can be sometimes really critical of itself. Remember to, you know, remember to uh, reward yourself. And the things that you've learned, you know, and the mistakes that have been made, you know, um, just by making certain decisions that led you to certain lessons. doesn't have to be seen as something that was bad, you know, something that will help you along the way, help you to take, so that when you do take the next step, you, you take it in a, you know, let me not say, I don't want to say better, you just take it in a direction that, I guess, gets you closer to what it is that you truly want. And before I do a little song, sound bow healing, I want to leave you with this quote from Sarah Morgan Bryan Piet. It is, it is the summer's great last heat. It is the fall's first chill. They meet.
like to say thank you for your time. Thank you for checking out this video. I would like to ask you to like, leave a comment if you like, um, subscribe if you haven't, and share. You know, share with someone if you feel the need to. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all be easy. See you next time.